and nine years old Rahul, he has got uh, a division of median nerve on the right hand at wrist level. There is a little pain and, and swelling on the dorsum and the wrist of the area and I am planning to inject, uh, block the istilated ganglion on the right side to just reduce the symptom of reflex sympathetic dystrophy. For uh, uh, landmarks for the istilated ganglion, you, here you can see this is Adam's apple here and just move your finger down, you can feel the first thick ring that is the cricoid cartilage and I'm marking with the blue ink. I'm marking with the blue ink. So this is the cricoid cartilage. The upper and lower limit of the cricoid cartilage is here. Now I'm marking that this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle and this is the uh, space of burn or supraesternal notch is there. And, and here this is the sternocleidomastoid joint and I'm marking the part of the clavicle here. This is part of the clavicle here. And this somewhere here is the jugular expulsive, this pulsing extra jugular vein here. And this is the external cubomastoid muscle here. So now at the level of at the level of the cricoid cartilage, you put your index finger in the lateral direction here and just retract the retract the uh esternocleidomastoid muscle laterally now at the tip of my index finger i am feeling some hard structure that is the chest neck tubercle or we can say the transverse process of the cervical vertebra and this should be the entry point of the needle so i am marking this point with the with the red circle so this is the entry point of the needle so from here we will insert my needle and i would like to inject about 10 ml of 0.25 percent surgical solution and see what happens after this 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 needle. basically if there is meiosis and of course the flushing of the conjunctiva that indicates not exactly the stellate block but indicates the superior cervical sympathetic block but we can presume by increasing amount of the solution that this can also get blocked in the same process i have taken 0.25 percent sensitive solution and i am using 22 gauge needle that is about one inch long needle from the entry point yes I have gone now my tip of the needle strikes the bone little aspirate and in that little amount of the solution now the bone is striking the bone the needle is striking the bone now inject little solution to create a space now tip of the needle is on the bone just withdraw about one millimeter always aspirate and then inject slowly keep watch on the pulse on monitor Now I have injected 10 ml of the solution, remove the needle and massage the area. In the proximal area, I am pressing the finger and then massage this area in a downward direction. To aim is to spread the solution quarterly. So this will block the stellate ganglion. This simultaneously also block the superior and the middle cervical ganglion from the anterior aspect of the neck. You can notice that there is a uh, uh, mm, uh, tosis, minimal tosis on the right side and then, then there is flushing of the conjunctiva that indicates that he has, he developed the Horner syndrome. The aperture on the, this side, this side is narrow 
and this is quite normal, he also has hoarseness of the voice. Namaka Rahul. 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 And you know that he has the hoarseness of the voice and the stuffiness of the nose of this size. This indicates that this is the middle and superior cervical sensor ganglion also get blocked. And with the same uh, injections, when you increase the amount of the solution, the straight ganglion get blocked and this will enhance the circulation of the right upper limb and this will also minimize and correct and rectify the symptom of reflex synthetic dystrophy.